Uh, hello, today I would like to demonstrate a testing rendering engine optimized for speed uh, implemented by Carlos Lopez Gonzalez. Uh, the idea of this uh, render engine is to have uh, most uh, heavy effects disabled and uh, thus achieve as much speed as possible. Right now I have the default software rendering engine enabled. Uh, so you can see the update is quite slow and uh, we have a lot of distortions because of the applet uh, rotate layers. Mm. The elements here are very simple, it's just uh, images, uh, but uh, because of applied uh, rotations and uh, other transformations, the update is quite slow. So let's switch to the optimized testing render engine. As you can see, the work area updates much faster now. Uh, also, you can see uh, the color distortions. That's because uh, there is no gamma correction is applied now, which uh, makes, uh, which saves us uh, some C CPU speed, so it works fa faster. Uh, what else? Ah, I can't hit play because if I at the moment uh, it uses the Cairo uh, render engine during the playback. So not this one, optimized rendering. You can see the change, color changes. So pressing playback won't get, won't give us any idea about the uh, sp speed increase. Okay, so let's uh, try to test other file some other files. I have this one. Aha, let's uh, try the basic software rendering first. Uh -huh. You can see updates updating the work area takes uh, quite a much time because we use uh, skeletons here and uh, also the ground uh, there are distortion effect applied to the ground okay let's switch to optimization okay color is distorted but uh, As you can see, it updates quite fast. Also, we have uh, uh, distortion layer disappeared because in this model we have disappeared um, the all um, complex effects are disabled automatically. So this is also a bitmap cutout animation. As you can see, the optimization is quite good here so let's try something different uh, this one uh, in this case we have 
quite a simple setup, but uh, we have uh, more vector elements here. So uh, let's switch to the optimization. Distortion is lost here for this element. But anyway, the update speed is quite good. So let's get to more complex examples. Um, let's try. Uh, vector uh, vector elements the try compositions composition with a lot of uh, vector elements like this so I guess we need some kind of drop down to switch quickly switch the rendering mode well, here it's quite fast, alt, but we can see that the rendering is uh, distorted. We can see distortions here. Uh, we can try to get better quality and uh, it gets slower. Let's switch to the simplified rendering. And uh, well, it's hard to estimate here. Uh, it looks like it renders almost with the same speed. But on the other ha uh, hand, uh, we can. Uh, where is it? We can easily spot the. the defects in the image which is not that good in the uh, even in the full software model okay uh, let's get to the even more complex example and this It takes some time to load all the image files into memory. Okay, this is the uh, ooh. It really takes some time. This is the native software rendering, and uh, let's. Enable optimize it rendering and uh, <laughs> it's still slow. Mm, even more, I think it's uh, hang it. It looks like it looks like that. Okay, let's terminate and reload. Well, I guess you already uh, figure it out. Figure out the conclusion. Yeah, it's very very slow. 
the simplified optimized render engine uh, doesn't deliver much speed for complex compositions uh, but uh, for bitmap cutout animation it uh, works very good that's it